Ahoy everyone and welcome back once again to I Like Watches 2. This is an unboxing and first impressions video. I've got an Atawak to show you today, but before I get onto that, I've been sent a new folding knife by the Petrified Fish store on AliExpress. They saw my recent video where I shared with you guys three pocket knives or folding knives that I bought from this store recently. And yeah, they said, would you like another knife to add to your collection? Of course, I said, yes, please. And this is what they've sent me. I'll put some details in the video description along with the link. And yeah, their knives are pretty impressive, I have to say. Perhaps a little over the top when it comes to unboxing watches, but still nice to have a little play with them. Unfortunately, these knives are not legal for me to carry out and about in the UK but yeah I'm allowed to own them and yeah use them for stuff like this anyway let's move on and take a look at this Atawak Tarantula now if you're not familiar with the brand Atawak they are one of those brands that likes to do things a little bit different they produce watches that do tell the time but not in the sort of normal manner that we've become accustomed to I suspect this thing during the full review is going to fail the legibility test miserably but then you don't buy watches like this because they're super duper legible and they can be read very easily at a brief glance you buy watches like this because they make a bit of a statement they're a talking point they're definitely different and yeah i've got to say my first impressions are pretty good it feels heavy very heavy very substantial so it has that feeling of quality the strap and the spare strap as well feels really thick and substantial the clasp as well feels well almost too thick to be honest but yeah um there's no shortage of that feeling of weight and quality when it comes to this watch and the finishing i have to say i'm just looking at it with my naked eye looks to be pretty good there's a sort of polished surface running the length of the case down the sides look and the transitions between that and the brushed surfaces flanking it look really really good so I'm hoping under macro lens that holds up but you don't really buy a watch like this for the steel finishing you buy it for the complication on the dial and you've got those well three sort of I don't really know what that shape is someone let me know in the comments section perhaps but they're sort of square pyramids cones I don't know but anyway they rotate to show the hours you've got the minute track covering well the sort of bottom half of the dial you do sort of have a running seconds hand it's that sort of triangular complication at the center of the dial but yeah basically it's one of those sort of wandering hour complication watches and they're quite mesmerizing aren't they especially when you sort of manipulate them by hand and make them work really really fast at the 12 o'clock those sort of squared off cones rotate a quarter and that is of course how you get your next hour so yeah, I'll run through all of this during the full review, but I've got to say first impressions are it feels like a quality timepiece, but then I think it's going to need to given the prices of these things. They currently retail for over £1,700. There's currently 15% off. It's a sort of New Year's celebration discount period. So if you are thinking of picking up an Atawak anytime soon, then now is as good a time as any because 15% off. Off 1700 pounds is a decent discount now that price may shock you but actually it's not unreasonable when you're dealing with a watch that works like this and the overall package i have to say does seem pretty impressive the box and all the other bits and pieces that come with it you get that second strap yes it's a lot of money especially for a watch appearing on my channels because i like to feature affordable watches watches that i consider to be incredible value for money and when you look at other watches from other brands that work in a similar manner perhaps swiss made watches you'll then start to consider 1700 pounds to be an absolute steal because there are watches that work in a similar way to this one out there that cost oh, just incredible amounts of money. So this really is one of those brands that's opening up the door to what appears to be a sort of luxury style of watch, but for well, reasonable money. But of course, we're going to know a lot more once I have reviewed it. So yeah, if you are interested in Atawak watches, I suggest you hit that subscribe button. Head over to I Like Watches as well, because that is where the full review will be going 
coming in the next few days. And um, yeah, hit that like button and the bell notifications icon so you don't miss out on future uploads. Right, guys? Um, yeah, an interesting one for sure. I'm reaching for my macro lens right now.